have Alyssa May rolling now, soon to be McCammon. There's truly no words to describe how much you mean to me. You are the greatest thing that has happened to me besides my salvation through Jesus. I, can, I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I cannot wait for all the adventures we will have. Alyssa, you have been so patient with me. And over the last three years, I've got to see your character, your attributes, your giftings, your caring, and your love. I hope and I pray that I can love and treat you fully as God intended, and that I can be a lighthouse directing you to the one who will keep you grounded, our Lord and Savior Jesus. Alyssa, you are kind, you are gentle, you are caring, you are amazing, you are patient, but most of all, you are loving. You can look at all these people here, and you can see that every single person has been influenced by your selfless love. Today we begin our adventure together. Adventures have up and ups and downs, twists and turns, and I vow to love you through the good and the bad, and I'll be by your side. I will be there when you don't know how to spell a word. <laughs> I'll be there when you don't know how to do a math problem. When you think everything is falling apart, I will be there for you. I may not be the most dependable man, but our God is dependable, and as long as we trust in Him, there's nothing that will come between us. Alyssa, I will love you for the rest of my life. Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And I definitely have obtained favor from the Lord. <laughs> adventure buddy, my protector, my best friend, my human, and from this day forward, my husband. We have waited, prayed, cried, and yearned for this very moment. The Lord has graciously shown us that all good things are truly worth waiting for. Although it won't always be easy, I wouldn't want to embark on this journey with anyone other than you. You have shown me what it means to be good and what it means to be true and what it means to love unconditionally and to show grace to others. Even though loving you is easy, I promise to love you even when it's not. As your wife and your best friend, I promise to keep our faith the cornerstone of our lives. In the good times and in the hard times, I promise to be by your side. <laughs> I promise to trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. As you follow Christ, I will follow you. Where you go, I go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. I pray that he molds me into the wife that you have prayed for, but more importantly, the wife in whom he is pleased. I promise to always hold your hand and to laugh with you, even when we're old and gray. I promise to care for you, pray for you, hold you, and cherish you till the Lord calls me home. I promise to be for you the helpmate that God intended from the very beginning. I will love you and be faithful to you to my very last breath. As I give you my hand today, I give you all of me. Apart from my salvation, you, Matthew, have been the greatest gift the Lord has ever given me. I am beyond grateful to not only be called your best friend, but now your wife.
together and their love for each other, their respect for each other. Uh, I know that uh, they've got great examples in parents because we all respect our spouses. Um, and what I've seen was a couple with them is they've made all their decisions together. They've done it nicely. They've prayed about it. They've done it slowly. Um, and they've counted on each other. Even through this whole process of the wedding, they knew exactly what they wanted to do. They were lockstep. And I've even caught them creepily finishing each other's sentences like an old married couple. So, with that, I'm very happy for you guys. Very excited. Sorry if it was long, but I got so much to say. Before I get to the toast, I want to thank your parents, Matthew, for raising you. Thank you guys very much. You have a very well-developed young son that I know will be good to my daughter. Thank you. Thank you. To Patty, thank you for being such a good model to your daughter. To Sally and Scott, thank you very much for coming alongside and helping with this and setting it all up. And for all the rest of our family and friends that came alongside and helped set up stuff this morning and make today happen and be special for Alyssa. Because I can tell you, everybody that I saw, it was about making them happy. And I know that's as your love spilling out to them. So, I actually have a verse I want to read first. And then I can be done. Ephesians 5.25 Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave for himself for her that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing water of the word. I didn't know you were going to do what you were going to do tonight. So very fitting. I only read that verse because not only is it that the wife is to be a servant to the husband, but it's also that you're to love her first. And I want you to know that early in your relationship. Love Christ and the rest of it will come together. Okay. And a quote from Alyssa. To a dad, or dad to a son is his first hero. But to a daughter, it's her first love. There's something she likes to tell me, that she's written some stuff for me. I pray that I was a good example of what a husband should be. And that you and Matthew will share and love each other for many, many, many years. We love you guys. And uh, it's time to raise a glass.